Hi everyone, this is Practice Summative, paper two, question number two. Now we are given a curve y1 intersects with another curve y2 at point A. Now those two curve, all right, x square, x square, smiling face curve. So let's just sketch the curve. We have one curve here and another curve there. And the point of intersection is A, all right? Now, therefore, we need to find the gradient function for both curves at the point of intersection A. Therefore, for y1, okay, for y1, we uh, the gradient function, so mt will equals to dy1 by dx. So the y1, we will, after differentiate, we will have 2x minus 1. And for y2, the second curve, the gradient of tangent, okay, we, we say t2, this is t1, all right? We equals to dy2 by dx. So we will have 2x minus 31 over 5. So we found the gradient function for both curves at the intersection point A, right? Now, part B, we have to show uh, that the tangent of both curves at point A are normal to each other, which means, now let's say I just sketch, right? This will be the tangent, okay? And then another tangent, this one. So we need to prove that these two tangents, they are normal to each other. That means making 90 degrees to each other, or in other words, they are perpendicular to each other. So when we identify the keyword to be perpendicular, immediately we link with the nature of the uh, gradient. That means m, the te first tangent times with the second tangent should give us negative one. But we do not have the exact value of the gradient of tangent at point A because we do not know the x-coordinates for A. So with that, we have to find the x-coordinates because without the x-coordinates, we can't get the exact gradient at point A. This is just the gradient function. It is applicable uh, to all the points along the graph. So we have to give a specific x. So we have to find a point of intersection A. So y1, so at point A, y1 equals to y2. So we shall take x squared minus x minus 5 equals to x squared minus 31 over 5x plus 53 over 5. So both x squared and x squared, we can minus each other. And after that, bring this over here, the number go to the other side. So we have 31 over 5x minus x equals to 53 over 5 plus 5. So for this one, if we minus, we will get 31 minus 5. So we have 26 over 5x equals to uh, find the lowest common multiple. So we have 78 over 5. Therefore, x equals to 78 over 5 times with 5 over 26. This one can be simplified. And this, after we simplify, we have three here. So our x value is three. So with that, we can now find the, uh, the product of the gradient. So let's take mt1, okay, therefore, so let's take two x minus one, the x value we just found to be three, and then multiply with, 2x minus 31 over 5. And let's see what do we have here. So we have 6 minus 1 times with 6 minus 31 over 5. So we have 5 here times with 30 minus 31 over 5. Simplify the 5, we got negative 1. Okay, so now we have to write our answer. Okay, since since the gradient of tangent of from the first curve times with the gradient of tangent from the second curve is equivalent to negative one. Therefore, we can say that 
y1, uh, sorry. So we have, and therefore we can say that the tangents are normal to each other. Okay, uh, normal to each other. That means they make 90 degree uh, among themselves. Okay, that's it for question number two.